Good morning, everybody. This is Tucker Miller here again. And like I said, for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing on Over the Hedge. Came out in 2006. So, plot of this movie is we got this raccoon named RJ, who was voiced by Bruce Willis. He, he found this cave where this bear named Benson was hibernating. So, RJ decided to go in the cave and he accidentally woke Benson the bear up. So, so, uh, Benson threatens to kill RJ, so, but however, Benson decided to make a deal with RJ. If, if he collects all this food for him, him, he will not kill him, but if, if he doesn't, Collect all the food, he will kill him. So RJ must to must do everything he can to collect all the food. Then, then waiter RJ met these animals, these other animals. Got burnt the turtle, the squirrel named Hammy, who was voiced by Steve Carell, Ozzy and Heather, who was those. Who are the two possums. And Stella who is the skunk. And the porcupines. Which I forgot what their names are. So yeah. So yeah. RJ met them and he had them. RJ has all the animals to help him collect the food and. Yeah and then what they realized there was this exterminator that that is, that wanted to like exterminate them, so they must do anything they can to stop him, and yeah. So it's up to RJ to collect all the food for Benson, and it's up to them to stop the exterminator, and that's basically what the plot is. Now, what do I have to say about Over the Hedge? I actually enjoyed this film. I think this is a great a great DreamWorks film from 2006. This is a fun film, I should say. Sure, I th don't think it's not as good as films like Shrek and all, but I enjoyed this film. This is a great movie. I use I would watch this. I used to watch this movie constantly as a kid. Now this is a DreamWorks movie I had nostalgic for. So yeah. Yeah, I used to watch this movie constantly as a kid, ever since 2011, because around 2011, I guess, I got this DVD as, like, a reward. My mom gave me this DVD as a reward or so, because I guess I was doing good at school, doing great at school and all. I think that's what it is. I don't remember. But, yeah, I think I got this DVD as a reward or so. So, yeah, and I watched it, and I actually enjoyed it. My brother enjoyed it, and my mom enjoyed it. So, yeah. I used to watch, we would watch this movie constantly. We used to watch this movie constantly. Because I guess it was that great. So, yeah. So, yeah. I actually enjoyed this film. Film? So, yeah. Now, let's talk about the characters. RJ. RJ is a great character. And I have to say, Bruce Willis did a great job voicing him. I do like... I do like Bruce Willis. I like him in films in Pulp Fiction and Armageddon. I had not seen Die Hard yet, but I'll check it out soon. Probably around Christmas. We'll see. So, yeah. I know Bruce Will Willis was in Die Hard. I'll have to check it out sometime. But I have seen Pulp Fiction and Armageddon, and they are great movies. And, yeah. 
he's a great, so yeah, RJ is a great character, and, and Bruce Willis was a great actor, sad that I think he retired, so yeah, Vint, he's a great character, you know, Vint is the, um, turtle, he's a great character, and I have to say, rest in peace to his actor, because I think his act, I believe his actor died around 2016, so yeah, rest in peace. To Vince actor, so yep, yep. And Hemi, he's a hilarious character, and I have to say, Steve Carell did a great job voicing him. So yeah, love Hemi. He's a hilarious character. Ozzy and Heather, they're great characters. So are the Porcupines, and Stella, she's a great character too. The Sturminator, he's a great villain, so is Benson. And, and, Gratis, Gratis Sharp, am I pronouncing her name right? Gratis Sharp. Man, she is definitely a Karen. Yeah, Gratis Sharp is definitely a Karen. When, and people claim that she is the original Karen. So I guess that's how... Karen's became a fame with this film. So, yep. Yep. So, yeah, Gladys Sharp is definitely the original Karen. So, yeah. And she's one of the film's villains, too. So, yeah. Eh. Yeah, she's definitely a Karen. So, yeah. And those are the characters I can think of on top of my head. And who else I could talk about? What other scenes? I now well, let's talk about some scenes. Oh boy, there's a lot of great scenes. I really like the scene where the rabbit squirrel scene, where they're trying to get the wagon from the Girl Scout girls, the Girl Scout scouts, and <laughs> that was a hilarious scene. I would laugh at that scene. I find it to be funny. I'm sure a lot of us find it to be funny. And, yeah, and the scene where Ozzy was playing possum. <laughs> One of the kids asked, can I poke it? And the mom was like, no! <laughs> oh my god, that was a hilarious scene. Can I poke it? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Ozzy was playing dead, like a possum, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And another funny scene, in my opinion, is where Gladys Sharp's car got explode, got blown up. <laughs> Honestly, that was a funny scene, in my opinion, where Gladys Sharp's car got, ex got blown up. <laughs> Honestly, that was a very funny scene, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it has a lot of ho great, ho great, funny scenes. And also, another scene I can think about is the THX reference. You know, that logo that used to appear on a lot of DVDs and VHS tapes from the late 90s to early 2000s. Or late mid 2000s. You know, you no. Know, they used to put that, the THX logo on those, like, Disney VHS tapes and DVDs. Like, wait, Masterpiece, the mid, one of the few Masterpiece collections. And Gold Edition, Gold Classic collections and all that. And Platinum Editions, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and some other, they use that logo. T the THX will go on some other films, films on VHS and DVD too, so, yeah. Not just Disney, as we all know, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of us remember the THX logo, so, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't quit me out, so, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, 
That's some of the things I can think of on top of my head. Head. So, yeah. So, yeah. The story is great. The animation is good. And characters are great, too. So, yeah. Has some rememberable scenes and all. And, yeah. Everything about this movie is... I do enjoy this film a lot. So, yeah. That's all I can say about Over the Hedge. So, I'm going to give Over the Hedge a 10 out of 10. There are absolutely no flaws with this film. So, yeah. So, anyways, that is it for my movie review on Over the Hedge. And stay tuned for my next movie review, which will be on Flushed Away. But until then, see you in the next video. Bye.